Hey, collective, what's the deal, baby? What's the deal? Collective, you know I love your mama energy. That's what your person over there messing with. That girl that kept playing on Craig's phone. Yeah. That's what your person got on their shows. Your person has seen time and energy and money, honey. They want to change the way they feel they're putting it because it has no value, of course. It's like they're putting it in the blender. Okay, so now your person, for some of y'all, could be feeling kind of suicidal or feeling like no hope. Kind of feeling like um, they wish they didn't wake up energy. They wish <clears throat> maybe they go in their sleep or, you know, like, where is life? Like, hope this. Yeah. This karma is, could be going through psychosis. So this karmic could have been watching you for so long that they have developed this energy or not an energy because you don't know them, but they feel they know you. So they have developed this attachment to you where they feel comfortable to want to say what they want or compete um, with you when it's not necessary. So this kind of telling you how insecure or how much you bother this person if they're posing, dressing, trying to be, wanted to get your attention, had other people playing with you, thought they, they think they matter. And the more <clears throat> you probably, the more you ignore, which you're not ignoring. For some of y'all, it's kind of like you're, you probably don't feel like this person is work hearing your voice or uh, arguing with. It's kind of like, you know, a bum. Uh, I was thinking earlier, I was thinking like when I went work downtown, I was going to get something from McDonald's with my coworker, and this man asked me for some money. He was a bum, and I uh, told him I didn't have no money because I had my car. So my friend, when, what it was, when the car passed by, it was like a hundred cord I wanted. I was in my early 20s. I said, that's the car I want. And he said, I thought you didn't have no money. I looked at him. I said, man, fuck you. I was young. It's like, how dare you think you could question me? How dare you think I should argue with you? And it's not that he's a bum, but like, how dare you? It's not that I didn't give you money because I didn't have it. You know, it's not like I'm ignoring you or I want to play with you either, bitch. You're not important to the collective. I think this person is really irrelevant to you. There's, now, there's a, that's when you put the difference in stalking and being a detective and being aware and for your safety. Because that's why these hoes are so comfortable to do what? So now, if you look at this person, see what they're doing. You can see probably that this person probably been stalking you for a long time where they're going through psychosis. Psychosis. They probably really think that even if you was to see them face to face, they really think that they will have an influence or a <clears throat> um, effect on you. And they don't. You get this person, it's not all there. <clears throat> that's why they don't, that's why they do feel so comfortable because they're not all there. If they wasn't, if they was all there, they wouldn't feel comfortable just to be watching you or knowing that they're watching someone that they know don't even know them and getting all involved. This person's probably been where you've been or they're low vibrational. Is what I'm trying to say. You already know what they not even going through with this person. You just know this is the steps of life. Or you know that this person is immature. So now your person is feeling hopeless. I felt that yesterday morning. I like this is not my energy. Been probably crying for some of y'all. 
feeling like they fucked over their twin flame. Now they get it. And now they don't have to get it. Page of Swords. Energy. Yes. What situation in your life requires analyzing and researching you and your Gemini air energy? Hmm? Hmm? Let's see. In your Gemini energy. Ooh. Page of Pentacles. All these pages. Feeling overwhelmed, Sag. With what's deep within your meaning? Page Swords. So something could be new you're starting to do. And you are called to develop some skills. So this could mean that if you decide to go take classes online or go get a degree or do anything within, you know, something that could be within seven years for some of y'all, then, yes, honey, it will be new. You will be like a little baby, you know, like a new car. Honey, honey. And it's overwhelming because maybe just the thrill of your manifestations, maybe because you're so comfortable or you're living different. So this could be your love offers. Red, passion and love. A mystery with the black in there. Okay? page about it. Maybe these are the offers that you're getting. These are the people that they're in relationships with or these are the offers that you are getting from people. That's why you're, you're doing all the research and analyzing and you're not liking that these are people just pages of source. They communication. Hello? The way they think shit with this leader should be balanced with this Aries and they stand on it like they proud of it. And you like judgment, Virgo, Taurus, you standing on your shit too. And whoever this is, right, they're matching energy. So this could be too immature as people, niece, nephews, kids, your kids, someone old but very immature, narcissistic. Trying to make you feel overwhelmed, or they feel overwhelmed. One is worried about how they are gonna communicate, you know, play with you, or think that they matter. Remember, and then one is looking at how they can develop something when they come to money, honey. But that burden, tower, baby, for this page of swords. What is that Scorpio energy? Scorpio Taurus is both out here. They feeling it's bam. I told you these bitches worried about your money or trying to develop some kind of shit that they probably should have been doing with all this Capricorn uh, temptation. Eat, sleep, smell, taste. That's what they want to go see every goddamn thing, do every goddamn body. That's why this page is still in their feelings. They both like kindergarten kids. Tower. Yeah, with all this water again, friend. Yeah. Hope everything's been good with you. Email me, Pony49683 at Gmail, baby. Cash at me at Ponies Tarot. Yes, honey, you single and you're overwhelmed with probably, see, you need to get out. And I feel like you're either going to be overwhelmed with this red with all the love and passion you're going to be getting. Because for some of y'all, y'all have been meeting people. So that's been like a uh, sign that's been, <clears throat> excuse me, you seeing you got your mojo back. You know, you got, you need to get in your mojo up. Honey, honey. You need more bees. That's all that is for this honey. You trying to build a hive. I like that. I like that. Yes, honey. What did I tell you? Let's do this. Emperor. Empress. On your march. Set. Ready. Let's switch it up. Yeah. Let's see what spirit wants us to know real quick. Right? 
You giving this little bitch a time moment. <laughs> Little bitch, a time mama, they learning they lesson about the boss. Don't matter what sex you are, proud community, what the fuck is up? You the boss. Don't be sensitive about your shit. Play with it. What situation in your life do you hold value to? Yes, honey, honey. You not supposed to go out like no sucker. You're not supposed to let this little clown play with you. Bring out the clowns. You're not supposed to even laugh. Because you don't care. You can't care. You have too much good things going on for you, and you get that they're stuck in the past. And the more this person want to act an ass, it ain't even about winning. This person just wants to probably really be you. Yes, Renee. <clears throat> Deception. Your person tried to use you with some watered down karmic. Some watered down ass man. A woman, excuse me. Sorry, I'm balling potatoes. It's her name, Bob. Deception. So, 20 minutes. Not 20 minutes. $20 for unlimited tarot. Some of y'all like, we already know. Let your friends help you. Let your friends help you. You know we friends. If you like and subscribe, you leave me those cute comments. I like y'all support letters. They really sweet. Texas are beautiful, honey. Honey. It ain't all about money. This could be the one. You already met this romantic partner. You're seeking. <laughs> what? God damn it. No. So I really feel like this is a push and pull energy. So I really feel like the more you move on, the more this person is going to either be immature or they're going to have to, you're going to pull in the energy you want. So it's like you probably have one pulling from you because they want to fucking play with you with this page and this page has energies. And they probably a page when it comes to their money and how they communicate. So it ain't like you could be diverse or take this person too many goddamn places. Maybe to the zoo. The vet. I'm being silly. But, yeah, so this person... Is really deep in their feelings. Remember I said they could be even feeling suicidal. And then I feel like it's a burden for both of these hoes. This could even be someone that says they homie. This could be a brother, sister, whoever. That's making them feel like they a burden. They burdens on each other. Mm-hmm. They feel overwhelmed. Huh. That's how they both feel overwhelmed when you they see you complete like a motherfucker. Single and complete. Ten, friend. That's a big ass cup. They see your new beginning love coming in. Who wouldn't want this? Who wouldn't want that energy? Who wouldn't want it? Get up off that beast. Something. Some of y'all need to change y'all diets. Stop avoiding your help. Oh, this person is avoiding their help. That's probably what's overwhelming. They both got uh, immature ass ways. Keeping open mind. Your soulmate may be different from usually the type of person you expect or your expectations. If somebody want to get married or you husband wifey material.
Why wouldn't you be? Let go of control issues. Yeah. I think that's how I've been. Even with my money, honey. <laughs> I just don't like spinning unless I really. So yes, if you want to change your diet, I was forgot what I was about to say earlier, y'all. Sorry, but it probably wasn't that important. If you want to change your diet, go on Amazon and they have a uh, what was I looking up? Lamb sausage, child. If you can, it's a good deal, a bundle package deal in different flavors. A four. Okay, that's better. Meat is better for you. No, I don't want those cars. I'm not like moving everywhere. So, yes, somebody's looking at you. And okay, so I guess this person gonna watch you get married, watch you have your first child, watch you have a baby with someone else, or watch you combine your family. Huh? How about that? <laughs> yes, honey, honey. Whatever you're saying is not bullshit. It's like you Oprah over there. You should have your own fucking show with the way you communicating with this Aquarius dunking on them. With this Aquarius Jordan. Elliot um, DeGeneres dancing on them. Justin Timberlake. <laughs> you know he dance. Dance all over these motherfuckers. <laughs> yes. Look up how Justin Timberlake dance. You... Yeah, you playing the piano like Alicia Keys, Bobby Brown. Y'all better leave that shit alone. <laughs> Whitney, related. Kelly Rowling, yeah. Chris Rock, you clowning over there. You're really clowning, aren't you? <laughs> Tower, I guess you are. Unforgettable. In every way, in every way. <laughs> Seen it with her daddy. That's them too. We're so tiny. Incredible. <laughs> so, um, so. You over there making them hoes look stupid. You like, how dare you think you important, important enough for me to explain or compete or acknowledge this damn bump on the wall. <laughs> That's what that is. Mm. My, someone has childhood issues. Of course they do if they're over there throwing a tantrum because they see you over there happy. And they trying to develop something that's like a page of a pinnacle. That's some little magic. This person probably got a little penis. Or they ain't, they try to move with that big thing energy. And you like, look at here, my walls are here. <laughs> and they're here to stay. Yes, you want to get married on the honeymoon? Or do you want to go on a retreat? Child, get out of here. Because I, I, some of y'all might want to go to the casino. Some of y'all might just want to go to a concert, a game, watch movies, look at this shit. So I feel like you got a lot of people over there and they feel it's your family. You know, all these bitches that need someone or need a crowd to act a fucking fool said the chance don't need a crowd to do shit. What is all of this? Someone that needs to grow up. Talking about a goddamn cult. They have no goddamn leadership. So this could be what a dope dealer or uh, some evil ass supervisor or manager even at your job watching you because they are all greasy as fuck and nobody wants them. And you damn sure don't. And they know you damn sure don't. Hello? That's your energy. Billionaire. Making them feel like dookie. Hell, yeah, why wouldn't you have this energy? Earth energy is what you're in. Capricorn is right there under you. After December to... Uh, 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 yeah, Capricorn next. Taurus. 
that's your energy. You like an antique, you never get old. That's like toys, you know, with the bull and the fancy hat and the nice ass suit and the red. That shit never gets old. It's fancy. It's an antique act. That's how you are. Virgo, innocence, pure. Some of y'all care about who y'all sleep with. And you also have witnessed this person and how they have talked maybe about marriages or how their attitude was towards marriage and relationships and shit that's serious. Now they can look back at you and know what serious is. If <laughs> they didn't know. Now you know, niggas. And this don't even have to be a black person. Nigga in the niggas is at. Right? Ignorance. Let's call it that. These people got childhood issues. They feel abandoned. They can't be by themselves. They don't like what you said on the podcast. They don't like that they like their uh, free as me energy. They they like that they might deal with their man cheating on them. And when they cheat, they just go cheat. And they let each other cheat. They all right with not knowing who they babies for. Or him uh, getting STDs or her bringing home STDs. Her, him both having tricks on the sides and playing stupid. They both are playing a fantasy. They uh, She's not in her. She's watching you, but she's not in her. Uh, that's why she's having a tower moment. She's learning her lesson. Whoever this page is. This uh, other page of Pentacles, he's triggered. So this male figure, this male energy prop community, they deep and they got damn feelings. Like, it's serious. Say if this was even they road, just straight up. Look how deep they in their feelings about their little money they have. And they see on the little manifestation that they thought that you should be bowing down to when they should have just let shit flow. But they got childhood in. Uh, issues. So this person is like an energy vampire. They cannot handle positive people. That's not what they do. That's not cool. It's cool to be a fool. Free as me. I want to drop your car. Here go my food stamp car. Eat up my baby snacks. Let's have sex all day. Before I go to work. I'll buy you clothes when you get out of prison. Yes, her night, her night. Let's keep collecting income tax and don't invest. Let's keep doing dumb shit. That's what these people were telling each other. That's what they linked up with. Let's keep doing dumb shit. What is this? Shedding out the old. That's what they see you doing. That's why they triggered in deep in their feelings like that. That's what they ask themselves. They've been asking themselves a lot of goddamn questions in their feelings with this cup. This is ask yourself uh, card. Are you prepared to have a new beginning in love? Are they prepared? No. <laughs> they need to develop more skills. This bitch over here, every time they look at you, they look at you and see that you a grown ass woman, grown ass man. It ain't no choo choo. I think I can, I think I can. Time to train, bitch, we grown. Now, you can literally get a foot in your ass at this age. <laughs> I can take my belt off and beat you with it. What I'm trying to say is, I'm not fit to play these ignorant ass games. Some people are not like this, even when they're mad. Because when I'm mad, I'm quiet. <laughs> Shit gets dangerous around here. Everybody, Sagittarius, that's our other side. People think they can push our buttons, poke the goddamn bear, and they don't know we're like a volcano. We are the core of the earth, right? We got two layers up there. God is goddamn red. You putting on these people. Yeah, they over there all burden watching you. You minding your damn business. They all overwhelmed. Your family, people you know from out of town, your family members, friends from school. Well, not friends, but these hoes and bitches from school. These bullies. 
thought they were bullies. Even they parents ain't shit. They looking at you. Certain shit. They okay with them having the weak ass friends. They thought you was a game. So yeah, you shedding all that old. That's why you over there looking like a big ass star. This pinnacle making you shine. Evidently, and I doubt if it's just about money. It's the way you carry yourself, yourself. It's your value. So the more this person trying to compare themselves to you or play with you, maybe this bitch say, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to just have to copy this bitch because this is a bad motherfucker. You over there looking like goddamn Rocket Man. All right, spirit. Let it be. Let them be. Let them be. I'm going to let them be. Everybody... I feel like with this confirmation, right? I feel like this person was talking a lot of shit with this sword. This bitch better watch her tongue. <laughs> and this page was counting your money. That's probably what they were talking about. She ain't got it like that. Or she thinks she's all that. Well, bitch, maybe I am. Thanks for the compliment. Any more, mate? Any more? Because look at this. This is some shit, huh? Big. Everybody over there manifesting this. Looking at you and shit in the drug dealers, the people at the corner store. Or maybe just people you know that's in your environment. Your uncles, your aunties, your nieces and nephews. You know, all the people that wanted to kick you out the family. You know, you back there looking at them, right? In your passion, overwhelmed. Because you're probably an impact, so you can feel these people feel like they want to kill their goddamn selves, and that's not your fault. You didn't tell them to go play in traffic, they choose to. And you just watched them do it. Fuck it. <laughs> Crash dummy. You was in Pisces Engine. Build a vibe. Rihanna, Justin Bieber, they in relationships. Queen Latifah, Elizabeth Taylor, Bruce Willis, Drew Barrymore, Energy. Yes, boo. They see you generous, they shit, okay. So they seeing that you generous, you sharing, you're carrying all this good shit. That they probably, you're not into temptations, Capricorn energy. To me, Capricorn is not the devil, it's Scorpio. I don't know too many Capricorns that go around fucking with people that they don't know. Let's just put it that way. But I know a lot of Scorpios that do. Low vibrational, lack of ideas, intelli uh, intelligence. This is why this person is triggered. This person that talk a lot of shit. Or this person that don't have a lot of money, honey. They probably just copying someone else's ideas, but they're not making money with it because they don't have the uh, support shit. They don't have that energy that they thought they can get from anywhere. Failure. Intelligence and uh, inability. So this person could be bipolar. Or maybe because they do have depression, or maybe because they uh, are they have a lot of kids. And to be honest, you could have probably helped them with that. That's not really the issue. It's the level of disrespect that this person do get that you would give up if you had to deal with them. So it could be their temper that's stopping them in life. It could be these the way they choose to still hang around negative people. That's not gonna push them motivate them because they can't if they energy going vampire kind of energy with this trigger then they can't really deal with people that's doing better than them in any kind of way so they're going to deal with people that's not very attractive they are bimbo kind of energy dumb jock kind of energy they hostile 
and it causes failures in their life. Lack of ideas. This person don't think. Compulsive, probably. Yep. Duty bound. Sounds about right. They duty bound. When I say they duty bound, they need to ask their motherfucking selves what has become overwhelming in their lives. Watching you and not probably taking care of their responsibility. Watching you letting their relationship fall apart. Watching you uh, not being able to trust each other even more. That's why they probably cheat anymore. Watching you because they know they have relationships with people that they can't even go through their cell phone or that they hide in their cell phone only when they go take a shit or in the car or on the way to the store. And they don't have time for that. Coming home late because they want to leave each other with the kids longer or they eat food before they get home because they don't want to share with each other. Doing drugs behind each other back too. Yeah. They duty bound. They on a routine life. That's a dead horse. You fogging this dead horse, you know. Uh, I always say you can make, you can lead a horse to water. You can make him drink. You know, you can make him drink it. You know, just push his head back, pull his fucking, you know. You can make him drink it. Because okay. at some point they will get thirsty, right? Yeah, they resisting the faith. These people in this group. So these people in this group could be dope dealers. They see you single. Or these people could be people that need a crowd and they need to grow up. That's in their ego. Yep. They care about how other people think and what other people think. That's why it's overwhelming to see you probably looking so free to them. And you don't give a shit. They duty bound just by caring about what other people think, child. That they can't even be love and passionate. With this red on this ten of wands, now they need to release their feelings. That's what they want to do. They probably so you probably got people in this group that want to talk to you on a serious note or anything, but they can't or even be nice to you, but they can't because they're around some people that are shitty people. You know they got to put up a persona, but you get that. That's why you put up your not even persona, but for some of y'all, like I don't always speak to them, and I go outside. I don't even look at them sometimes, kind of not speak. I'm I'm not supposed to speak to you every time I fucking see you. Just because you want to hang out at the fucking store. Like, we, no. Then you, everybody gonna think they your goddamn friend. That's how we do it around here. You know, all you motherfuckers. You know, you're not just letting everybody in your energy. It's not even safe, so that's one for me. For some of y'all that are single or live alone, it's, you see it's not safe just to be doing shit like that. Could leave that for the ugly motherfuckers, right? Yes, honey, honey, you trying to uh, reach a goal that you've been trying to reach with hard work or you've gotten your pieces together collective. You've been patient, loving yourself, shedding these bitches off of you, and you've been saying it, procrastinating. it. <laughs> like, I'm black and I'm proud. Mm -hmm. Say it loud. Yes, that's the energy you in, and that's the motherfucking me truth. This ain't no hello Barbara, this is Shirley shit. <laughs> Get your ass out of here. You know, like I said, these people thought you had a door, a note on your door, or a sign on your door with business hours of when you was gonna act like a hoe or be a bitch or let them control or manipulate or bully. Who? Huh? <laughs> shit. This what third party overindulging gossiping sound about right bitching lack of social life yes cause they probably pregnant so they've been having a lack of social life or they have a lack of social life because your person is controlling and they can't be themselves and that's why you ain't fucking with them and they probably also been controlled by the money honey they probably can't really do shit in real life 
They can't go on a vacation. They can't go to the casino. They probably didn't think like that to go on a cruise. These people just want to get drunk and do it. Get booty. You got to put into that shit and you communicate that with these souls. You communicating how fucked up that this has to come to an end with this Gemini energy. Ain't no controlling me. It's like you thought these rats and roaches was trying to uh, knock you off your path. This Scorpio is trying to cause you a tire moment, Taurus energy, water, earth energy. Or oh, they was in this Taurus energy, Scorpio, excuse me, energy. With this time moment, like trying to sneak up on you, energy, and sting on you. Or kept stinging on you before they just put all the poison in and pulled out and then took their slow moving ass back from where they were with their boring ass life. Simple, basic bitches that they all are. Not just one or two. It's not just the karmic and this motherfucker or whoever you were dealing with. It's all of them. They all in the same energy. That's why they all doing the same shit. They all in kindergarten shit. They're all nosy as fuck. They have these disgusting habits that they have trained their brains to indulge in. So it's like even if these people decided to change, right? It's going to take too much for them to change. You don't have time for that. Santa don't come for the bad kids. I tell kids that shit. You want Santa to come? He don't come for bad kids. I don't know where they do that shit at. These people ain't getting shit going on in their life. They can't manifest if they this negative. They manifesting the basic ass life. They're not manifesting or they're not getting their blessings like leadership. Learning how to manifest because some of y'all was doing it or they are doing it, but they don't know the steps or the skills or the routine or what they need to do to keep, to, you know, make it really go in a fucking circle. Because they too busy bitching and gossiping and talking about each other's kids when they should be helping each other with each other's fucking kids properly. They don't believe in Christmas trees and shit unless someone else is going to do it. These are not men that's going to cut the fucking turkey, you know, or say a prayer or get up and stand up for you for some of y'all unless it's in their ego shit. This person is like, I will fuck for food sign on the side of the freeway, like the bum. They have a lack of social life. Well, why? Cause they only brush their goddamn teeth probably when they going somewhere. These people are like uh snails. They under a rock. Honey, honey, and look at you. And got them people back there watching you. And once again, you got this woman back here. It's a woman back here. Just all up your ass. Cause that horse is you too. But watching you from the back. Looking like a scarecrow with no brain. Looking like a fucking Leo lion with no courage. But with an ego. Looking like the tin man. Trying to do a lot of shit but can't move. We need to be all thug. Snipping like a dog. These bitches don't have no home. And you over there melting. Are uh, you melt? Some of y'all going through menopause or something? I feel like you melting like a volcano. Because you got a ten of swords out here. With the way you've been talking, you've been melting shit. You like a dragon. Two heads. Two head dragon. With that Gemini energy. Moving forward, moving on, accepting help. Yep. Okay. So this person, this page, trying to develop something, trying to control their feelings. This is crazy. 
Because I feel like now they know they get triggered. But they've been having a lack of ideas, but they have some kind of structure to them mentally or within them. And they feel like they want to come out of isolation or rejoice with the world or they feel more awakened and finding mental strength. And this is also your energy. This is why this could be your soulmate, twin flame, or someone you have a soul tie with, which is all the same shit. So that's why whoever's the more spiritual one, the more the strict one, is probably the one that's probably going to feel more because it's a push and pull energy. You y'all pushing and pulling to the yin and yang, but that's the balance. So I guess with one is going to be more outspoken, one is going to be more laid back because I usually date quiet guys. I don't date guys that talk. I don't know, they just don't. And they talk with me. About their childhood trauma, and I. But we don't. Uh, we just talk about what our family do and make jokes. I usually they like said tears kind of energy or cancer, so we be playing around. So yes, yeah, honey, honey. This person wants forgiveness, and you have forgiven this person. That's why you feel good. I think that's what it is. You forgiving this person, you forgiving all of them. You understand that they just choose to be nasty. So on the way we go. And if you want to contact me, I'm on the community board or I'm in the description box. I'm gonna update it. I really think if you're going through something or you just want to talk that you really would enjoy us sitting down having a good reading together and getting to know each other, okay? So I hope you enjoy your day.